In today's modern household, everyone is connected, and with so many devices and connection needs and so many people consuming or creating content, it only makes sense that the needs for the family network changes and adapts with those times. You want to back up and share that Blu-ray collection across multiple streams at once? Want to ensure that your data is protected and backed up always? Well, traditionally, outside of most small businesses and like the really savvy, most users depend on external hard drives to do all that heavy lifting. But with the massive jump in hard drive capacity and new powerful user-friendly network area storage devices on the market, the ultimate home server is definitely within reach. So guys, hit that thumbs up if you're interested in an as for your home. Let me know how you'd use it down in the comment section below. Make sure you hit that sub button to subscribe for more content just like this, and make sure you're hitting that notification button to join the notification squad to be one of the first in the world to see when our videos go live. Let's check it out. All right, everyone, so let's try to put this in perspective. As our devices get ever more powerful and our file sizes from these devices are scaling accordingly, it makes sense that we would see a point where we would see the storage in our devices may need a bit of an upgrade because things can fill up pretty quickly. So like as an example, a single one of my video projects can go anywhere from 60 to 100 gigs per you know, video footage, meaning that the standard 512 gig SSD or storage device, I'd run out of storage pretty quickly. In comparison, a standard Blu-ray backup at lossless quality will run you about 30 to 40 gigs. And when it comes to music, a lossless flat quality album can come at a storage cost of as much as one gig, if not more. Couple this with the fact that if we have 4K capable smartphones, a one minute video can push us up to a gig worth of real estate. Our storage requirements for personal computing devices will also get stretched the more that we use it, and frankly, we're more susceptible to data loss as the average user doesn't have any redundancy built into their lives. Say an SSD or hard drive dies. You can say goodbye to those cherished picks from your past. But thankfully, there's some really simple options there to add a layer of protection and really power that connected home needs. This is exactly why I've decided to go out and build a mass storage system that's gonna work within my lifestyle and workflow. I need a mass storage solution that I can share with my family that can serve as the hub for my offline YouTube video storage, but ultimately something that would work as a great Plex storage device, basically aiming for the ultimate home office server. First off, we got these amazing new NAS drives from Seagate, the Iron Wolf and Iron Wolf Pro. With insane capacities up to 10 terabytes, these are everything that you're gonna need for that always on solution to provide backups and media storage. Using Agile Array, these drives are optimized for the best possible experience, which can include health management to monitor and watch the health of your data, to drive balancing with sensors that work to ensure long-term performance. Also, and more importantly, if there is any type of a failure, you're backed up with Seagate's Data Rescue Services, which has an over 90% success rate at data retrieval. For this reason, the 10 terabyte Pro drives, which is huge considering the largest hard drive I've owned before these was a measly four terabytes. And we're gonna be using three of these in RAID 5 for around 17 to 18 terabytes of complete storage with a single drive to act as redundancy. So basically, if a single drive fails, I can just replace it and not lose anything. For the NAS itself, we opted to go with the insanely powerful QNAP TS-453A. This is a quad bay NAS, rocks a somewhat compact footprint, but it's really powerful and easy to use to create a personal cloud and ensuring that I'm always connected to my files and backups. The NAS itself is really well designed with curved corners and a decent side ventilation, as well as an active 120 mil fan at the back for cooling. There are four gigabit ethernet ports at the back for a huge amount of device connectivity options. There's also USB ports for even more external storage, as well as a couple of HDMI ports for switching between duplicated and extended desktop options. And all of this is powered by an Intel Celeron Quad 1.6 gigahertz CPU that can overclock to 2.08 depending on the load, alongside four or eight gigs of DDR3L RAM in dual channel. Now, all four bays are completely hot swappable with steel trays for sturdy installation, Although the guide rails are a little bit pain to line up, but frankly, for the majority of users, you're only gonna be installing the drives once. So that's not really much to complain about at all. But where most of these NAS systems have their tragic fatal flaw is with the setup experience. And frankly, the QNAP setup is insanely simple. Through the QNAP online portal, you can quickly and easily set up your NAS with easy to understand step-by-step -step instructions. The benefit of having the NAS connected to the internet right away is also the simplicity of the cloud-based install making the setup process even more low touch and user friendly. The end result being a massive storage capacity of over 17 terabytes. Speed wise, we're looking at really fantastic transfer speeds of over 100 megabits per second. So you're not gonna see any real bottlenecks when it comes to file transfers. When it comes to content though, one of the key performance metrics in this NAS is that it supports 4K hardware decoding 
and can transcode 4K H.264 on the fly. Most of all the settings as well can be navigated via the QNAP web portal, which gives you pretty much access to control every aspect of the NAS in itself. It even has a built-in karaoke system with high quality audio output and when it's coupled with the Ocean KTV app. A huge array of other on-demand apps that can even further expand functionality and depending on use case are also available, including downloading apps so you can remotely download your legally obtained torrents, etc. Plus, with the LEDs on the front, you can also control the brightness in case you find them annoying, but again, your mileage may vary, and complete control over how and which data you can share with pretty much everyone and every device in the house all at your discretion. So with our ever expanding needs for more and more storage, it makes sense for NASs to become even more popular. For me, when you take these Seagate drives in the QNAP NAS, it builds the perfect solution for anyone looking to step up their storage game. Whether it's just for backing up important files or acting as a Plex or media storage streaming server, this is the perfect and ultimate home server option. So guys, what would you do differently? Let me know down in the comment section below. Also guys, smash that like button because we may have a special announcement around this setup on Saturday. Might have to do something with Seagate, might have something to do with QNAP, who knows? So make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification button to be one of the first in the world to find out exactly what that special announcement is. So guys, thank you very much for tuning in. We love sharing this wonderful world of tech with you guys. Thank you for spending a little bit of your day with us and we'll see you later on this week. Cheers. All right, so today we're talking about storage. Let's go check it out. We're talking about storage. Yes, we're talking about storage. Network detached storage. We're making it sexy again. Network attached storage. It's the best.